Welcome to the Western Officiating Development Partnership. In this segment, we're going to talk about refereeing positioning. We're going to talk about how it relates in the end zones and how it relates in the three officiating system and in the four officiating system. Let's hear from some of our partners. I think positioning plays a crucial and vital role in officiating hockey, probably more now with the four official system than ever before. So it's making sure that both our referees, or all four of our referees, get into proper positions so they can get the best possible sight line on infractions. So uh, gone are the days where we were very mechanical and structured. We provide some freedoms to our officials, but we want them ultimately to get the best place that they can see the infraction. There isn't so much of a process at even the Western Hockey League level or more advanced levels about worrying about the X's and O's of positioning unless an official's positioning is causing them to have poor sight lines and make poor judgments because they're not in the right place. That's when you want to focus on that. There isn't a specific checklist. Was he standing here at this time? Did he do this at this time? It's just watching to see how they understand the, the ebb and flow of the game and in the right position to make the right judgment. Um, just skating efficiently is really is a really big thing in order to get those sight lines. Everyone's so competent in the standard that we have. It's just being able to skate and get in position to give you the best chance at, uh, at seeing that play. It's a great example how we react to play quickly. We move our feet and we don't hesitate. We make our move and we go back into the end wall. In this clip, the referee leads the play into the zone to create space. Once in the corner, he reacts fast, continues to move his feet. He doesn't hesitate. When it's time to make his move, he makes it quickly and works himself back to the wall to create space. Uh, as the low referee or in the end zone, obviously the most important plays happen at the net and usually that's where we really have to heighten our awareness of the plays around the net. Um, you know, it's, it's hard as an official not to get puck focused. We, we have to really try hard not to do that. But at the same time too, we got, we got to make sure that we see if the, if the puck does cross the line. So there's a lot, there's a lot, can be a lot going on around in front of the net. If there's a goal most scramble and you know, the demon are pushing the guys on, we got to watch where the goaltender is. We got to protect him. And we also got to watch where the puck is. So obviously around the net is, is key. And uh, that's where we also hope that if we, if we are working a four man game, whether the two referee game, that our, our the back guy is also helping out, you know, the peripheral and he's uh, watching for anything on the outside of the, of the net. In the three official system, we have to keep our feet moving, we have to pursue the play, we have to create angles, even though those angles are created from behind and give us, give us different looks at penalties, and we have to work hard to get to the goal line, to have views of the net and the plays of the net. Three officiating system and our pursuit of play. We work hard off the goal line, we recognize there's going to be a play of the net, but we work hard to get to the goal line and the play of the net, which results in a goal. In this clip, the referee works hard to get in the end zone. Notice he keeps his feet moving. He transitions close to the net, back towards the boards. We move up the ice. As play comes back, we do a tight turn, keep our feet moving, creating sight lines, creating space for ourselves. We do a good job of coming into the net, recognizing the play as it moves back towards us. We move back towards the end zone and then back away towards the far wall. Constant motion, our feet are always moving. Our head's on a swivel, we're seeing all the plays. And the key for us in the end zone is that we're always moving. We're always reading the play, and we follow the play out of the zone. For officiating system. The key to this for us, again, is creating angles. But we're leading the play. We're skating backwards, and we're creating the same angles. It's really important the lead referee works himself all the way down to the goal line to create angles, see plays of the net, and develop our positioning in the end zone. Let's watch some clips for officiating system and the ebb and flow of the two officials. The referee works himself backwards, creating sight lines, works down towards the goal line to create space. The back referee comes up hard forward, again to assist in penalty selection, create sight lines. And now we ebb and flow in reverse. And again, as we move back up the ice, transitioning from forward to backwards, the lead referee works himself backwards ahead of the play into the corner. The back referee you can see here is watched out for the line change created sight lines, and will again work himself into his end zone. Ahead of the play, we transition, he goes forward and the lead referee now goes backwards into the corner. And this play, we cross over behind the net. 
and the back referee will cross through the neutral zone when it's safe to do so, again, to create sight lines and keep ourselves diagonal. Here's an example of the four officiating system again. And the ebb and flow as we move up the ice. See here, the back man does a really good job of getting up near the neutral zone dot, and he keeps his feet moving. He moves up and back with the play, creating sight lines, putting himself in a position to help his partner if needed. And the partner down low here uses the end zone positioning we talked about earlier in this segment. Really nice job, Hoey. Move, ebb and flow. The back guy does a really good job. He recognizes when he needs to come close to the blue line, when his partner's in traffic, and there's a potential for a play that he'll have to help make a decision on. And then as the play transitions out of the zone, we do a good job. The front man leads the play down. Now we transition back and again, front referee works down into the corner well ahead of the play. And the back referee works hard, comes up, creates sight lines. Constant movement. And we have and flow the other way. We do a great job staying ahead of the play. We've seen some great examples of referee positioning. Positioning is key for us. We create angles that create sight lines so we can see infractions. It allows us to get to the net and see plays of the net and certainly the most important play in hockey, a goal. Positioning is something we need to work on, continue to improve, continue to create sight lines, and be great officials. Keep working hard.